Today we're opening a massive box of sealed product. What's up guys, we're back with another massive box video. And as you guys saw, we have a lot to open up today. But before we get into that, we do have a giveaway. I will be giving away this Haman Lord of Striking Thunder. This was given to us by Jackson to give away in a previous video. So if you guys didn't see that one, go check out that video. Uh, you're not going to want to miss that one. It was insane. But to win this Haman, you just got to like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you like out of this box. There should be plenty of options for you to choose from based on the size of the box. I'm going to open this thing up off camera because I literally, I have to put it like behind me because I have no room. So we're just going to get everything out and show you guys. First of all, there is a lot of stuff in here. Uh, I have no no idea how many of the legendary duelist rage of raw there are but there are a bunch of them there's five right there i mean there's two packs in each of these so there's these and we got uh oh they're falling over got to be careful we got more of these don't press anything on my mouse in the recording that would be a bummer then we have all of these so that is all rage of raw that is all different packs so that's like a couple booster boxes worth maybe we could pull the ghost or wing dragon of rob that'd be pretty sick oh i found one more by the way all right make that two more i did buy this from a viewer he said he's had these for a while so this dude looks like he raided a few walmarts because we have one of the walmart displays so i think that gives it away a little bit then we have okay you might have gotten an idea of what that was let me show if you've the other ones, we've got Eternity Code, that's first dead. We could pull Effect Veiler out of there. There's some crazy big ones, like I think Area's in there, like a $1,000 card. We asked that to Rhyme Style and guess that price. We've got a Secret Slayers. I mean, Eldritch is still pretty big. Got a couple of those. We've even got Battles of Legend, Heroes Revenge, which is like, I mean, this is really old. This says the original Blackluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, the most redundant card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Besides, well, there's a few other ones, but it's one of the most redundant. The rest of this sleeve that I showed you guys is Rise of the Duelist First Edition, so we could potentially get some pretty big cards these are like 20 dollars packs now it's ridiculous there's some really nice starlight rares in here of course there's some great secret rares like triple tactics talents and stuff like that so there's i think like 37 of those packs so there's a bunch of rise of the duels which is pretty cool then uh, don't worry there's more blisters we have a uh, light a uh, blazing vortex that's exciting not really we have a bunch of uh king's court i think go through these real quick king's court king's court it's a bunch of these i think those are all king's court no wait no that's not king's court that is hidden summoners which is it's an okay set it's not great we got hidden summoners pretty old at this point though king's court then we've got a couple ancient guardians not very good and then rising rampage i mean if we get the Apollosa, this whole purchase was definitely worth it fyi we're not even close to done we also have some more similar stuff so we got king's court there was a couple different ones in here we got uh, dawn of majesty our favorite set going for that stardust dragon hey if we can pull another one i'd be happy king's court Toon Chaos. This is unlimited, unfortunately, but it is Toon Chaos, which is pretty cool. Uh, King's Court there again. I'm running out of room. There's just so many blisters. I have no idea where I'm going to put these because these are going to take up so much room. We got to get to opening. I got to start recording this stuff. We got King's Court, King's Court, Toon Chaos, Toon Chaos. Let me know what you guys want to see. What kind of videos do you want to see from these like uh, blisters? Because I feel like we can do some pretty cool stuff. First edition, Dawn of Majesty. There are so many blisters. Holy, what am I going to do with all these? Okay, and then we have uh, to go along with all those blisters we have legacy blisters which yeah i picked the wrong time to buy these i know they're coming out and they're getting reprinted in just a couple months but yeah I, you just cannot go wrong these are perfect for content opening these up i love it every time metal raiders we will of course be buying a bunch of the reprints when they come out but there is a lot of reprints coming up i'll show you everything we got so that was metal raiders my favorite set Got a bunch of those. Let's see if there's anything different. We got IOC right there, Pharaoh's Servant. And I will continue to tell this story. I once pulled a Ghost Rare out of the extra cards back there. There was like 10 cards. I once pulled a Ghost Rare. It was unfortunately like a couple years before I started YouTube uh, opening. So I didn't actually get it on camera. So it's just up to my word if you believe me or not. I want it to happen one more time, and hopefully these are the ones to do it. It was only a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon Unlimited, which is like still pretty decent, but back then it was like a $10 card, so it was not really that crazy. It is crazy to go back and think like that there were ghost rares like for 10 bucks, and like before that, they were even cheaper. There were some that were like two bucks, so yeah, those, those were the good old days, because that's like a main, like that's in a set. Like it's a 12 box to pull it, and it only costs, you know, two bucks. It's pretty insane, so yeah, uh, I, I miss those days a little bit, but at the same time, you know, just got to accept where you're at, of course. But we have a lot of legacy packs. I mean, I'm just showing you going through all this stuff. I have so many blisters. Like, this was the, the Blister King is where we got these from. His name is King Blister, I think, is what we're going to call him. He had a lot. I'm just showing you the very top of them because I don't have any more room anymore. <laughs> we got IOC. We got LOB. LO, I mean, there's just like all the classics from the uh, Legendary Collection. We have all of them in multiples. 
We also got a couple of Pokemon packs. These seem to be like OCG, like probably newer. I really don't know what these are actually. So kind of cool. We'll probably open those on Twitch at some point. Go check out Twitch if you guys are interested in that. I've also been doing Pokemon stuff on my Pokerux channel and also Rux and Live. So you can check those out if you guys are interested in that. Then we have Legendary Duelist Magical Hero. This is unlimited, unfortunately, but still a cool box. We've got more Rage of Raw. If we didn't have enough of that, I also found a few more Rage of Raw blisters. I didn't bother to show those. A couple boxes of Rage of Raw. And then we have a fan favorite set, the Battles of Chaos. I think a lot of people actually really like this set. I'm included in that for collectors. I think it's a pretty cool set. You either love it or you hate it, I think. It's a, it's a pretty cool set. I'm a fan of it. We got a couple boxes of that, so that's a nice pickup. Then you couldn't buy a collection without having a few structure decks, right? So we got the Egyptian God structure deck. We have the... Uh, structure deck Sacred Beast, of course. We have the Saga of the Blue-Eyes White Dragon. You can't buy a structure deck without having a Saga of the Blue-Eyes White Dragon. And then we have the Egyptian God deck. So it's all like, you know, the, the, the pretty much the mainstays, the staples of structure decks is the nostalgia play. Then we have some Movie Pack Secret Edition. So this is all the classic stuff you would see at Walmart for the last few years, but it's getting harder to find some of this stuff. I really like Secret Edition, though. I think it looks really good. So there are one, two, three, like nine of these, I think. Nine out of 10. So we basically have a whole display. Here. Let's hope he didn't pull like the blue eyes alternative and then just ditch the rest, but we'll have to see. All right, we are really losing space here, but we got a mystery power cube. This is actually one with packs in it, so it's not too bad. Like, if they, it's just cards, these are always just like a complete scam, basically. But if they have packs, it's not too bad. So that's a nice one to grab. Then we have the, uh, we got the uh, Yu Gi Oh! Kaiba 10. What year was this? 2018, 1917. Wow, that's why I haven't seen it in a while. These are very old. Pot of Desires is a promo in here, so very old 10. That's actually pretty cool. Isn't it crazy that 2017? is now considered very old well maybe not by you but for me that seems pretty old then we have five of the 2021 that's upside down mega tens that i'm not going to show you the rest of them just because i don't have anywhere to put them but there are five of these keep that in mind and then we have the what is this yugi's legendary decks two okay it's not number one number one did get a reprint though but it was pretty hot like people really liked it this is a really cool product. I've never actually opened this on my channel, so uh, I, I don't think I will because, like, you know, it's like a structure deck, but very cool, you know, product. And we're finally on the last two things we have. We have the Legendary Collection Kaiba, the one that we forgot, the Forgotten Legendary Collection. Let's see if they're first edition here. We have, this is how you tell. You look at the back, you look at the tiny packs. That appears to say first ed. Then we got a Yugi's World. This one you know by the window, but you can also check the packs, but this is unlimited because it doesn't have the thing in the window. So we've got two Legendary Collections there. That's everything we got. I still haven't redeemed our every legendary collection opening, so maybe that's the one we do it with. Who knows? Now let's open up a couple of packs because we're not going to go anywhere. We're not going to show you guys all these blisters and not open some of them, right? I mean, we got to open some. I'm going to knock over a tower of packs while I'm doing this. But let's open these Rage of Raw, a couple of these. Let's do a legacy pack or two for sure. So keep an eye out for all this being opened on the channel because it is, uh, it's definitely happening. I got to open it just to have more room. Like I've completely run out of room. There's cards everywhere. There's packs everywhere. That's a good problem to have let me tell you when you're a pack opener that is a great problem that we have cosmos channeling very excited to pick up a couple of sealed collections recently because you guys know what we're doing with that we're opening it up it's gonna be fun so i'm excited all right monster reborn the resolute mech lord army the mech lord emperor was L, token stampede and a psychic mega cyber that's a couple of dud packs no big deal we're gonna open up a spell ruler and we're gonna pull a gosher out of these random cards back here the fun part about these is the random cards it's like you never really know like usually they suck but every once in a while there will be something that's decent i'm trying not to knock any everything over here we got an auto rocket dragon convert contact that's an ultra but it's from battles of legend Rel 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 it's from battles of legend relentless revenge i really cannot speak right now is that a, a common neospatian flare scarab a kalima the haze okay this is a bunch of dark world deck stuff okay let's go uh destroyed that pack no big deal we're gonna get a blue eyes tune dragon one two three four it's gonna happen right now Remember when I pulled one with Sam and Team APS? That was amazing. We got a Spear Cretan, Toll, Gaia Power, Ceremonial Bell. We got a Guardian of the Throne Room, Upstart. That's a great card. Ryu Ran, Rust Recklessly, the Arkansas Razorbacks, and a Fairy's Hand Mirror. Okay, nothing so far, but I'm not done. We're gonna we're gonna open a couple more packs. I'm not ending on a dud. Okay, more Rage of Rock because I have a lot of it, and I really would like to pull a Ghost Rare Wing Dragon of Raw right now, just for fun. You know, I'm going to knock over one of these stacks, 100%. I have punched them multiple times. Some other staying up. Pretty impressive um, resolution there. I don't think resolution is the right word. What's the right word by the stacks? The the stacks are having strong. I don't know. I give up. A wild monster appears. Look, guys, I'm dealing with all these stacks of packs, okay? I can't think. I can't think. It's too hard. Thinking is hard. Did you know that? 
Let's go. This is a ghost rare, I believe. And it's going to be PSA 10. It's going to be the second one ever, I think. Okay, Mechlord Emperor. Okay, maybe not. Mal the Bound Creator. How about a Hidden Summoners? Let's open one of those. I think that's that's what we should open. Hidden Summoners. Hisu. Shortened to the abbreviation. Let's do this. I don't remember what's in here. <laughs> sure, Nui, I think is actually a pretty fun deck. I used it in auction series one time. Prank Kids Rocket Ride, Awakening of the Nephthys, and a Secret Rare, Tengu the Wing Miyakashi. Pretty scary looking dude. I mean, he's got like peg leg, he's got a red face, blonde hair. That's a wild looking guy. Okay, we, uh, I mean, there's the thing about that one. It's a guaranteed secret rare. I don't think that's a great one, but it could be. I'll have to double check afterwards. We're gonna open at least one more of these. We gotta try and get a foil here. Come on, Rage of Raw. I believe in you. You can change the tide of what's happening right now. We opened all these blisters, or got all these blisters, okay? So let's let's make it awesome. We got a token Sunday. Oh, and the true name. That's an ultra rare. There's a, uh, a Rada Makiura, but this is not a very good card. But hey, it's an ultra rare that is not guaranteed. One more pack. Is this the perfect blister with an ultra and a ghost rare in it? Let's see. I think this will be our last pack of the video. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Maybe. Maybe. If we get a ghost rare, definitely. Mind control. There's a super rare. Okay, that's pretty good. Super rare and a Cosmos channeling. Also not guaranteed. Mechlord Nucleus Infinity core all right we will save these for future videos coming up soon i have a lot that i can potentially open so i'm excited to mix them together and make some fun videos if you guys are excited make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this shout out to tone Fo show daxer jt show puffins of doom ernesto deanna dizzy flexi boy hoppus choice 333 mycycle james jance tcg trusted cards america deutscher supreme sage 21 frankie martinez and a tie show ian moose junior barding mimic gecko shadowfall and thomas mclean thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace